Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new safe hour. We are jumping in again and we are gonna jump on as BL. Um, we did a little episode of this guy on the modded character showcases and people asked me to keep him on as a character that's part of our roster now and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this guy. Um, and so we'll be playing as him again. So, you'll basically notice that this dude um, has very, very interesting, um, sort of ideas when it comes to how this guy works. If you haven't seen the way that he works in the modded character showcase, I highly recommend watching that first. But just for a quick recap, basically this guy, um, you have to take items. There is no way around it. There's item items that show up, you have to take them. But in every item room, you get a free reroll. So you are able to reroll things, but... There is cursed items that can show up that are essentially like flipped versions of regular items that can have some pretty, uh, pretty difficult things going on with them. Um, pretty, pretty bad risk reward based things. Charge on Monstro's lung style burst while you're firing when release. Uh, the tier, um, burst is fired in the opposite direction you're moving, taking damage spawns of red poop. I'm not even remotely interested in that. Um, Killing enemies has a chance to spawn a smaller duplicate with less health. Duplicates have a small chance to spawn a pill on death. We actually did use this last time, um, and I don't mind it. So as you can tell, it's a lot of these items, these curse ones, are risk reward based. So this one here, um, of course, the risk is an enemy can spawn a smaller enemy, and that enemy can spawn a smaller enemy, but the smaller enemies can spawn pills. So... There's definitely a bit of risk, but also a bit of reward related to it. And overall, I, I like this because, I mean, it's kind of funny seeing tiny little wee little baby fellas. But also on top of that, um, I really like seeing the uh, ability to get random pills. I think that um, if we get our luck high enough, we could actually enter a, a situation which we can... Um, kind of just take all the pills. Like if we get PhD or something and get a good amount of luck to get more pills, it could be a lot of fun. It could be a lot of fun. So we'll give this a go. I also just stylistically really, really like this character. Um, I think this character just looks really cool. Okay. These dudes are bloody annoying, but we can deal with them. He spawned a smaller one and a smaller one. I do find it funny that the smaller ones can spawn more smaller ones. It's certainly going to be a problem at some point, I'm sure. I don't know if it can happen to bosses. I highly doubt it. Oh my god, I find enemies like this so goddamn frustrating. Uh, I've got a bomb, so I will check here just in case there's something in our item room that's really good. Let's have a look. Wet dice shards tend to black runes instead of disappearing. Taking damage while holding a black rune will deal extra damage and destroy the rune. Black runes share the disappearing properties of wet dice shards. Interesting. Um, spawns a wet dice shard. A wet dice shard spawns at the beginning of every floor. Now that seems real good. We'll grab that. The wet dice shards are interesting. Basically, they're like a dice shard, but you can't leave them behind. You can um, have an extra one. So getting one at the start of the floor is kind of interesting. I like the idea behind it. Now we can get um, these cursed items from bosses as well, so we can get some rather dodgy health upgrades and the like. Now the chances for cursed items isn't super, super high. I know we've seen quite a few of them already, but as I said as well, they're not all, all bad. Oh my god, that was a really bad hit there. That was a second really bad hit. Oh, that was a third really bad hit. Okay, let's um, let's start playing a little better. These pillars in the middle, oh my lord. These pillars in the middle have, uh, have thrown me for a loop, safe to say. Having a hard time dealing with them. But, we got you deaded at least. GMO corn, we have to take it. It's going to make us gulp down a bunch of pills. But I believe every pill that it made us take there is now discovered as a pill on the floor that we can see and find. Which helps with our little miniature pill spawning thing we got going on. Right, so we go to the next floor. Um, so this is this is where this is a little bad. So we're going to go to the next floor here. And we're going to get another wet dice shard at the start of the floor. But we can only carry uh, two. So we do have two slots, so we can carry two. But um, on the next floor, that's going to be problematic. Because we can't carry a third. And we're going to have to just let it go bye-bye, essentially. Can I? Nah, this is going to be rough. Oh, no, I got you. I got you. Right. 
But yeah, having two uh, wet dice shards off the rip is, is pretty goddamn useful, I'd say. As for the question of the day today, what would you say is something that you feel cursed with? Okay, grab that. What's your curse, would you say? Oh, don't walk into this fire, you moron. I wasn't looking. I wasn't paying attention. I haven't had a pill spawn from any of the wee little baby boys yet, but we do have base luck, so that might be the reason. We do have to be a little careful about certain enemies like these dudes, because uh, when we kill them, if they're going to spawn a smaller one, it could put us in a little bit of a rough spot. Item room, we're out though. I do like the fact that this guy starts off with pretty decent stats damage-wise. That's really nice. Golden key is fine by me. I'll check what's going on here. Automatically consume five random pills. Now that actually seems kind of useful because um, we're kind of on a on a kick of being a bit of a pill fiend here. So I wouldn't wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind that. This is also quite nice for us. Just a troll bomb. I didn't want a troll bomb, god damn it. Not bad there though. Okay. Oh. He's a wee little baby now. There you go, that's our first pill. We got a puberty. Not bad to see a puberty about. Oh, we also get Whipworm here, which I'm not displeased at all. So in here we've got... Consume one heart and grants a damage up that lasts for three to six combat rooms. Enemies have 1.5 times more health if this item has been held and the effect isn't active. I think we're going to say hell no to that. And we'll definitely say yes to Infestation 2. My goodness. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. I like it. Good, 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 good. Now, I don't think the item room spawns a wet dice if you're already holding one. Um, so we're mainly getting at the start of floors than anything else. Right, let's go and consume a bunch of pills. Actually, let's do our boss first. Um, let's play this a little bit. Hey, okay. Um, one heart container speed brings your heart containers up to a minimum of four. Lose several of your soul hearts every floor. Brings your heart containers up to a minimum of four. Well, my heart containers are already at four, so unfortunately that isn't something that we're going to be taking, because losing soul hearts every floor... Oh, I forgot about that. Doesn't matter. I should have re-rolled it. I'm stupid. Yeah, I kind of forgot about the fact that you can't leave items behind, so... This has put us in a rough spot, I guess. My bad. Should have re-rolled it. I'm stupid. Converts all red contain containers into black hearts. Uh, well, I have to re-roll that. <laughs> um, and I guess I'll check out Devil Deals. Tears up, you become feared after entering a new room for a few seconds. Doesn't seem super useful. Take sin rubs. Basically, you can't fire for a few seconds on entering a room. I don't think I want, I want that. Right. Let's see what happens here then. So, is it gonna is it gonna guarantee that we go up to four heart containers now? Or does it? No, just we just lose soul hearts. This is this is rough. This is rough. We did get cat skeleton. Uh, remove all red heart containers but one. Damage up um, any ga any guaranteed revive items you have are removed and replace it with damage. We don't have any revive items right now, so... Not ideal, honestly. Not ideal. But it is guppy. It is guppy, so there's something to be said about it. It's not all bad. But the remove all your heart containers part of it is... Uh, not particularly appealing. I'm guessing the whole idea is you take this when you already have nine lives and it just gives you a heck load of damage. It seems very specific though. Oh, I'm stupid. Wait, no, it didn't. 
I'll re-roll it. Uh, spawn an item in the treasure room of the next floor. If there's no treasure room, spawn on a regular room instead. This item has a 40% chance to be the poop. Okay. Okay. On for a weird one at the moment. On for a weird one. This is a weird enemy to keep getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> Not sure how I feel about that. I'm very much liking having infestation. Also, I believe infestation works on the smaller guys too. Yeah, so infestation's real good with the setup we've got going on right now. Because the smaller guys will often kill themselves with the spiders spawned by its bigger version sort of thing. So we've got kind of a, a little cheat code going here. What does Thanatosis do again? Uh, triggers death animation and confuses all into the room. You can't take damage in the state. Uh, activates effects that trigger when you take damage. Okay. So I just do that to fake my death and confuse things. It's it's not all that useful, to be honest. Can't be asked dealing with this room. Soul of Evit. Extra range, lovely. Spiders are doing a good job of killing those dudes. Oh, dude, can you, like... Goddamn, get out of the way. Okay. Um, while big plus one damage and um, plus 15 speed, while small, take double damage. Getting hit while big protects you and shrinks you down. More cat mushrooms can spawn from tinted rocks and occasionally new rooms. Seems interesting. I like it. See, I, I, I picked up a wet dice there and it just disappeared. I don't really know what happened there. Maybe because I already have one, I don't know. Look down. God damn it. Thank you for that. Black Heart, plus one tears. Wild Curse of the Blind is um, activated. Is that Wild Curse of the Blind is activated active automatically, give Curse of the Blind if Devil Deal chances at 100%. Give it a go. Okay, I think this is an interesting run so far. Lots and lots of cursed items. Okay, so now we're small. Telepills. Particularly what I was looking for. So how do I get big again? Do, is it just that I find new mushrooms, like it said, from tinted rocks and in random rooms? I think that's the way that this works. Which is kind of weird, but I like it. I'm all up for at the minute for taking as many cursed items as I can, because I, I just want to figure this character out and sort of suss out how best to play it and kind of work around some of the weird foibles of the character. The only way we're going to do that is uh, taking stuff all the time. I will take this, I think. Give me that rotten heart. I do like rotten hearts, so I'll be taking those. Got to be careful of the bouncy shots. Oh my god, I didn't expect them to- Oh really? It's a look up that I can't reach. That's annoying. That was a lot of explosions. Go, my spider brethren. Blue cap, very, very nice. Let's see what we've got going on in here. Damage up, tears down. Missing a tear while fire uh, will fire a home projectile at you that deals no damage but briefly inflicts fear. 
That seems... horrible. <laughs> but it's quite a big damage up, but it's also a tears down. Eh, I think all of those seem a little bit risky for me right now. Don't think they're particularly a good idea. Brim brimstone bombs is good. Oh, I say brimstone bombs at least. Brimstone bombs is really good. It allows us to deal with some bosses a hell of a lot easier. Um, in exchange for Curse of the Blind. Uh, nah. Eh, it's plus luck though, which would give us more pills. Yeah, let's do it, why not? I guess the blind is a bit spooky in this situation, but I'm down to clown with it. I'm down to see what for. But yeah, I'm going to sort of get into the habit of doing this with some modded characters. If we try them out and people like them, especially if I like them, add them to the series. Always creates more variety and stuff, doesn't it? The spoiled coin is pretty good, to be honest, for getting money, but we don't need money for much more of the run, so I'm not that intrigued. Okay. Oh, mushroom. There you go, I found one. So I'm back, I'm back to being big again. Get my burner stats. Finally saw one of those little mushroom buggers just hopping around. I wonder if we can get multiple. God damn, we've had like a golden key every floor. I'm really liking the fly and uh, spider army we've got going on right now. I think that's working out pretty goddamn well for us. Now, do you got to remember, whatever, whenever our item room shows up here, we are going to be blind. We're not going to be knowing what we're getting. Don't know how I didn't take damage there, but I'm grateful that I didn't. Yeah, and we're just building this bigger and bigger army. Oh, dude, can you stop placing pills in inaccessible locations, please? The second good pill. That it's just been like, lol, psych. Uh, we've got a random item, of course. Do we want to purchase a random item? I suppose we get get enough money we could do. Okay, boss now? No. Um, eh, There's only like caves too, it's not depths. Just let my spiders absolutely mince him. And we'll be taking whatever the hell this is and hoping for the best. Luckily we got off scot-free there. Not too many issues. Right. It says that while you're big, you gain damage with this mushroom. Do you reckon uh, a size uphill would also count as being big, or does it only mean while I'm affected by the mushroom? I'm unsure. Thanatosis again. Can you give me pills that I actually care about? Ones that actually impact the quality of the run. I'm just going to take this. I don't know what the fuck this is. Ah, oh, that's the poop. It it got me. It got me. Dan Tootin. Anyways, let's um, let's buy the mystery item in the shop, see what we end up getting. Oh, we've got two poops. We've got a poop in our pocket and a poop in our active. Wait, were both items the poop then? What, what's this item I've got here? Something needle. Tears up, speed down, these stats... Um, a ten base on the floor, you may randomly lose health upon entering a new floor. Oh my god. We've got a lot of uh, losing health things going on right now. There's a luck upgrade as well, which I'd love to have, but a uh, red for a, even a second. I don't know why I've got so much poop. I'm not quite sure what's going on with all the poop. <laughs> but I guess we have it now. Guppy's tail. Um, we didn't take the other guppy item, did we? 
Sorry, not Guppy's tail, Guppy's hairball. If we would have taken the Guppy's skeleton, I'd be all for that, but honestly, knowing that we didn't is probably a bad idea. Considering we're losing health every floor, we're not doing too bad in Soul Hearts right now. I would have thought we'd be in a much worse position here. Okay, not too bad here. Right, pills, we're just going to take all the pills. Infested? Tears down's probably okay, considering the amount we had. Telepills is whatever. The world, yes please. Judgment, I guess I'll plop you over there. Right, well, what have we got here? Grants a sun planet as an orbital which has special effects when blocking shots. 15% chance to fire a greater that leaves behind a trail of slowing creep. And other fossil crushing effects activate twice. Okay, so we probably want to take the, um, the slowing creep thing. We'll take that as well, of course. Got to remember I've got Notch Knacks here as well. I've got a library over here. We do have a Soiled Heart as well, which could, could end up proving useful. Still don't know why I've got a pocket poop. Right, Libri. Doubles all trinket spawns, converts trinkets into golden trinkets on use. Give it a go. Okay. We got something here. I kind of forgot that like Notch Axe is just gone now. I drink it's gold now, so that means we're firing this slowing creep a lot. Which is probably pretty darn useful for us. I do miss our shot speed. I don't know if it's just the if it's like just the game or if it's the the, the slowing creep. I'm getting a bit more lag than normal. That seems fine in this room. Maybe it's just all the spiders and stuff. I don't know. Hey, there's a little dippy. Chippy little dippy. Oh, we got a bit of free lemonade there. I don't know why I'd want that, but... Oh, wait, it's going to make me take it. Uh, I guess I'll... Oh, yeah. Take point five. Hell yeah. What a reroll. What a reroll. Rerolls pedestals into cat item from any. We're, we're gonna reroll that. I'm gonna reroll that as well. Mum's wig. The flying spider regime continues. Don't know what that did. Hopefully, it was good. Hello, booty boy. Laxative. Another one that shows up all the goddamn time for me. Ooh, this is good. I like this one. Basically, we don't take damage in the room we're in. We take the, all the damage in the next room. It can be really useful. Nice easy kill on this guy. Lovely. Experimental treatment. He's a little spicy. I'll take it. We lost some damage, but we gained some fire rate. Overall, not terrible. Gained some HP as well. 
Down we go. Down we go. Okay. Ball of Cat. Prevents active items from spawning for the current floor. Disappears upon leaving the room unless it's been held. It's pretty useful. I don't want any active items. So that's good. Infested? Definitely getting some lag. I, I think it might just be because I've got a lot of custom characters installed right now. My god, that guy. Had so many layers to him. We don't know what we're getting here. Cat's egg. Enemies miss spawn with an egg orb and an eggs that, uh, that die hatch into dead birds that can hurt you and other enemies. Intriguing. Certainly intriguing. My interest has been piqued. We are an adult now. We're doing good uh, on damage and stuff, though, I think, right now. The amount of spiders that we have right now is unprecedented. So there's the eggs. And there's the dead bear. It kind of launches directly towards you, I see. Keep it moving. Well, that's a big boy. Whoa. That's a very big boy. We're spawning so many various things right now. Right, gotta watch out for these dead birds, because I'm sure they're gonna end up hitting me a lot if I'm not careful. Yep, one of them hit me there. But I don't get hit until the next room, remember. I lost my mushroom size. Oh god, this guy has three eggs around him. This segment. I guess that's just a thing where bosses can have multiple of them. I'm trying to stay away from that for now. There you go, look. They have, like, slight herming. We've got perfection, which we'll definitely take. Um, in fact, we'll use that to make it gold. We will take the Polaroid. We'll check what's got, got going on in here. I am willing to gamble here. Cat's cash. Damage up for every coin you have. Extra money is scattered throughout the floor. If Curse the Blind is activated. Little Abaddon. And Cat's Pact. Uh, plus two black hearts. One of the next hits you take will reduce you to one heart. Oh, lord. Oh, Lord. Right, let's go. That was risky, certainly. But I liked it. I can leave that now. I'm okay with trading my active items out. Gotta remember, if I get hit, I need to drop um, perfection, otherwise I will lose it. But because I technically don't get hit in this room, I can prevent it being taken from me. So, like, now, I just lost it, so make sure to drop it on the floor. Then I go to the next room. Take my damage. Well, I don't think that was intentional. I don't think that's how that's meant to work. Um, I think it's meant to just deal one heart of damage to you and put you down to one heart, not just kill you. But anyways, that was a fun little cursed run. I'm enjoying this character very much so. So I hope you guys do enjoy. Um, and yeah, if you want to see more of this character, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next one.